Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 3 in Azure Data Explorer playlist. In this video, we will discuss about how to create Azure Data Explorer cluster and database using Azure portal. So let me quickly show you this. Let's go to browser. This is my browser. Here we need to hit this create resource button to create any resource in Azure portal. Azure Data Explorer is also one of the product or one of the service in the Azure cloud. This you know already from my previous videos. So let me do one thing. Let me hit this create, create resource button to create one resource. And here we have to search for any resource or any service what you want to create. So I want to create Azure Data Explorer. So let me search here like Azure Data Explorer. So once I hit enter, it will search in the Azure Marketplace and it will give you the suggestions here. So we need to select this Microsoft Azure Data Explorer. So let me hit that and here let me hit this create button to create Azure Data Explorer cluster. You can see here this helps you to create Azure Data Explorer cluster. And as I said before, if you remember, we will be having something called cluster first at the top level inside which we will have something called database. This you already know my from my previous videos and inside databases you will be having tables. So this is how the structure will be. So now we are creating a cluster here and then we will create one database also. So here select your subscription and then select your resource group. So maybe I will select Mahir RG as my resource group and cluster name we can give maybe ADX Wafa. This is my cluster name and region you can select. There are so many regions available you can select and workload when you are doing for testing or practicing select this dev or text workload. If it is for production use you can select either of other options. I will explore or explain them in our upcoming videos. Don't worry and then here availability zones you can keep it as a default and now let's hit review plus create button. This will actually validate all the configuration details whatever you entered once the validation completes. We need to hit this create button here to create. You can see validation is successful. So create button is enabled. Let me hit create button to create my resource and here you can see my deployment is initiated and this deployment usually takes typically 10 minutes to create. So that means in next 10 minutes or more it will create a Azure Data Explorer cluster with this name and once the resource ready you can navigate to that resource and you can create a database and other things there actually. So to as I said this deployment will take 10 minutes. So we need to wait. So between I already created one data explorer. You can see here I already created one. Let me open that and show you. So once your resource is ready it will look something like this. You will be having a ADX Wafa something like that. So in this case ADX Mahir because which I already created and you can see this is a cluster. Okay once the cluster is ready you need to create a database actually. So you and if you if I go to databases I already created one database here. You can see here. Let's wait for the screen to load here. You can see one database already available. So when you first time create a cluster you don't see any database here. So what you can do you can navigate to overview menu and from here you can create database either by clicking this button or here either by clicking this create button. So you can create databases either by clicking any of these buttons. Okay, so let me hit this create button to create a database and here it will open a wizard where we need to fill some details database name. So I will be mentioning like demo database. This is my database name and retention period you can mention like how many days the data should be retentioned in that database and after that period it will move to catchy. Okay, so let me hit this create button to create this database. You can see here creating database is in progress. Once the database creation is completed you can see database is created. What I can do I can go to databases and I can see both of my databases here. You can see both databases are available. What I can do I can navigate to this query menu and from this query menu I can start writing my queries and executing my queries on my databases. But right now my databases don't have any data in them. So let me refresh this cluster here. You can see when I maximize this I have both of my databases here. You can clearly see them here right 
so now let i don't have any data in this databases so that's fine what i will do now let me try to do one thing so let me execute some queries here maybe like dot show then there is something called databases when i execute this query what this query will do it will actually show all the databases from my cluster you can see the query results clearly available here right so it is listing all my databases from this cluster okay so since i don't have any data i am using this custo commands to execute and show you some results so that you can make sense of it not only that what i can do uh, right now i selected test database right you can see i am under test database and here i am executing show there is something called tables command so this will list all the tables from the database but as i said we don't have any tables so it should return empty rows here so let me hit this run button to execute this so let me select this here and then let me hit run okay for some reason i am not able to hit this run button yeah now let me hit run button to execute this command and now if you clearly observe it returns no rows that means there are no tables in this database at this moment so that is how you can execute your custo commands across your database i hope you got an idea how to create a cluster and then how to create a database and how to start writing queries in that database okay so that's it in this video i hope you understand how to create a adx cluster and one important thing if you are not using this make sure you pass it when you go to overview menu uh, you can uh, you can stop this cluster to run that means you're pausing so when you stop cluster to run it won't charge you much cost or else it will charge the cost so better you stop it when you are not using it or delete the entire cluster itself so make sure you do that if you want to avoid the in recurring costs i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you